Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB. I am your host and your host channel for the show. And today at the local game store, you're going to see another fun commander battle between me and my friend, sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. The person who leaves the comment that the winner of the game likes the most is going to receive a gift card courtesy of CoolStuffInc.com. So thank you very much to them for supporting the content. And you can support the content by hitting join below and we are keeping track of people who join up and become members while we promote these commander gameplay videos and if that is a very popular thing we'll continue doing them in the future so hit the join button below if you'd like to support and thank you very much this week i will be playing a mono black deck that tries to cast very large eldrazi's in a hope to gain a little bit of revenge after last week shay's defiant bloodlord whip of Erebo shenanigans definitely it left her the champion, but now she has the biggest target on her head, and it looks like she's going to be bringing some dinosaurs to the mix. So get ready to battle the trampoly hasty nonsense that only a whole bunch of dinosaurs could bring to Magic the Gathering. Filling in on Ixalan Tribal, Blake is going to be our blue mage of the day. I guess Ben also has blue, but Blake is, you know, a quintessential blue mage. He's playing Admiral Beckett Brass, and he's out to steal things. The pirates are coming for me. So he might be out to cause a lot of mischief and mayhem, and I generally find getting my stuff stolen to be a pretty big tilt. I wouldn't be surprised if he made a few enemies in this game. Ben is playing Muldrotha, one of the most popular commanders, and he's looking to rebound after taking a 78-78 Mr. Tickles to the face last week. So we'll see what he can do and if he's interested in swinging with some very large flying monsters as well. It's going to be a fun episode, so make sure that you buckle up. This one's going to get juicy. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Hello, and welcome back to the next episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, and I'm here with my friends Ben and Blake and Shay. And today, I'm going to be playing Sidisi, Undead Vizier. The worst possible thing that I can probably do to you guys is make a whole lot of mana with several copies of Cabal Coffers and cast Torment of Hailfire, which is like a giant fireball that's just going to kill all of you at the same time. But it takes me a long time to get to that kind of mana. And in the meantime, I'll just annoy you slightly with giant Eldrazi, like Uvamog and Emrakul, <laughs> and I'll probably take your turns from you. Just little stuff like that, no big deal. Ben, what is the worst possible thing you're going to do to us today? Well, I'm playing Muldrotha the Gravetide, so I can return a lot of permanence from my graveyard. And possibly by turn six, six if my hand is, or deck draw, drawing is good, I can either mill everyone at once, or myself. I can self mill, or I could just sack a big creature and do damage equal to its, I think, power to everyone at once. How, how big of creatures can you make? Uh, well, I played this deck once with my friends, or well, more than once with my friends. But one time I played it with my friends, I did like 120 to everyone at once. So. That, that, that would be pretty. Yeah. That's pretty <laughs> worst possible scenario yeah, there. Yeah, All right, yeah. uh, Blake, what's what's the worst possible thing you're going to do to us? So I'm playing Admiral Beckett Brass, and mine is a pirate-themed steal all your stuff deck. So I'm going to be stealing a lot of permanents. The worst thing I could do, I did include an expropriate in my deck. However, I made a deal with the captain that I can only choose money, not time, because even pirates have a code. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, what you're threatening to do to us or that hat. This hat is amazing. <laughs> this is the worst possible. Indeed. Okay, Shay, the returning champion, welcome back. What, what is the worst possible thing you plan to do to us today? Uh, yeah, so I'm playing a Naya dinosaur themed deck with Sakama Primal Calamity as my commander. Um, so lots of big, stompy, chonky dinosaurs in here. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I think the worst possible thing that uh, my deck can do is maybe uh, if I get a finale of Devastation, I can use that to grab a um, Praetor Hook Behemoth um, from my library or the graveyard, get that on the battlefield, gives all of the creatures uh, lots of uh, counters and trample and haste. So if any of you catch that coming your way, that's um, pretty bad. 
I, so Ben caught uh, some of that trample haste last <laughs> yeah. last game. Yeah. So I think all, we're all a little uh, we're all aware of what you can do. All right, the worst possible commander show is brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. Remember to leave comments because the winner of the game is going to pick their favorite, and it's going to be a gift code to the website to the winner. So thanks to Cool Stuff Inc. for the sponsorship. We rolled. Ben, you're going to start the game. Okay. I will draw for turn. I'll play an island, and I will pass. Draw for turn. I will play a Temple of Malice. Tapped. Scry that to the top and pass the turn. Are you going to wear that the whole time? Depends on how many pirates I play. <laughs> <laughs> if I kill them all, will you take it off? Yes. <laughs> all right. Uh, OK, I'm going to draw for turn. Sweet. I'll play a Fury Calm Snarl, and it will enter tapped. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. Da, 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 da. Swamp, go. <laughs> I will draw for turn. Whoa, whoa. Flying away from me. Turn that away from you. I will play a Simic Growth Chamber tapped, return the island man, and now I have to discard. discard but it. conveniently, I drew Wonder. Oh! And it is now in my graveyard. So now, if I control an island, my creatures will have flying. Just how you drew it up. All yeah. part of the plan. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> and draw the card I scribe to the top. Island for turn, and an is it signet, and I will pass the turn. Turn. Uh, all right. I will play Boulder Loft Pathway. I'm gonna tap it. To also play Kinjali's Caller. It is 0 3, and dinosaur spells you cast cost one less to cast. They're coming. They're coming. They're on the way. Pass the turn. Just for me to take. <laughs> I'm going to play Hagger Mauling tapped as Hagger Brew Pit, just kind of a tapped swamp, and it's your turn. Right, I'll untap my semi growth chamber and draw. I will play an island. I will tap. Two, and play a Fell War Stone. And that will end my turn. Everybody has the ramples but me. Oh no. <laughs> Sad. Alright. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna start by casting a Talisman of Dominance. And then I will pay two to cast a Kite Sail Freebooter, which is a 1 2 of flying and it's a pirate. When Kitesail Freebooter enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand. I choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. Exile that card and kill till Kitesail Freebooter leaves, leaves the battlefield. I'm going to target Ben. Okay. And hope you I find a scroll You reveal to everyone? Uh, <laughs> you do reveal your hand to everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if he has the scroll rack and did. It's only it. one card. It's like four lands. Oh, no. Well, it's a never rolls disc. I will take a never rolls disc. If this leaves the battlefield, you will get that back. Yeah. And I will pass the turn. The stealing begins. Indeed. Mine. Wait, let's play, Blake. Come on. I mean, now you know there's a flying Lord of Extinction on the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something thematic about Lord of Extinction versus the dinosaurs. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh no. Meteor swarm kills all dinosaurs. So I played a forest. Tapping two for an arcane signet. And since my dino, ooh, dang, it almost worked out so well, but not quite. Uh, I will pass the turn. <clears throat> From now on, CGB, if I ever don't have a pirate, the hat will come off. If you ever don't have a pirate, the hat will come off? Indeed. You swear to that? I swear to this. Drawing a card. <laughs> Pirate's honor. It's a life not everyone understands. A hard life on the seas. <laughs> So, we're gonna go with Arcane Signet. We're going to play Lake of the Dead, and when Lake of the Dead enters the battlefield, sacrifice a swamp or bury. That's some old wordage for destroy, Lake of the Dead. So we're gonna sacrifice the swamp, goes to the graveyard. Now this taps for a black, or I can tap it to sacrifice a swamp to make one, two, three, four black mana, which is pretty hype. You know, there's something I should do, and there's something I really want to do. And Not they're, my hat. They're Anything but the hat. <laughs> Dude, I really want to get that hat. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to 
show restraint, play a Mind Stone, because some, everybody's double ramping but me, so your turn. Man. I'll untap, draw my card for turn. I'll play a Drowned Catacombs untap because I control an island. And I will tap one, two, three, four, five, and play a Lord of Extinction. Its power and toughness are equal to all cards in all graveyards. So that is currently two. <laughs> it's a two-two. Two. Yeah, it's a scary <laughs> guy. Right now. Is, is this the thing that did 120 damage to everybody at the table that one time? Yes. <laughs> This is just a five mana two two right now. Five mana just two. Wait. Right. Just wait. Just wait. Just <laughs> wait. I will pass the turn. All right. Would it have sounded better as P the T? Maybe next time. Yeah. Maybe. Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, we just started. We can't be doing that the whole video. <laughs> I also would have said we can't have that half the whole video, but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I'm going to play my commander. Admiral Beckett Brass has entered. I do lose a life to Talisman of Dominance. Shay, I'm attacking you for two in the air, getting plus one, plus one from Admiral Beckett Brass. Sheesh. Okay. That was two? Indeed. Okay. Noted. <laughs> it wasn't a 78 78 fine <laughs> trample. I don't know. Pass <laughs> turn. <laughs> Of Captain Jack Sparrow. Admiral Beckett Brass. <laughs> That's your, I mean, I guess you have an admiral. There are some captains in there. I, I should save oh, yeah. it. Are there any songs about admirals? I don't think so. Not good ones. Nobody likes admirals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Master and Commander, was that an admiral? It's a good question. I don't remember. I'm not sure. Oh, like, I'm Russell Crowe. Master and Commander, <laughs> Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> to cast Anger. For four. So this is Anger, it has haste, and as long as Anger is in the graveyard and you control a mountain, creatures you control have haste. All right, so you get to pop somebody for two. It's, it's, I mean, kind of. You get to um, pop CGB I, for I two. I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, CGB, it's uh, Anger's coming at you. Bam. For two. Bam, there it is. <clears throat> Passing the turn. So much anger coming off you right now. <laughs> She's just what boiling over there. This is not what I consider an impressive play. I'm going to play Cabal Coffers. I have no swamps in play. <laughs> <laughs> My mono black death. So it currently doesn't even tap for anything. <laughs> going to tap three. Going to cast Skullport Merchant. Now there's a 1-4. And it's going to make a treasure, and I play this card in a lot of the standard black decks right now, so most of y'all are going to recognize him. So here's Merchie Boy, and it's your turn. Right. I'll untap, draw, I will tap one, two, three, four, five, and I will traumatize myself. <laughs> Target player puts the top half of his or her library rounded down into his or her graveyard. And Lord of Extinction's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in all graveyards. That includes yours? Yes. You're telling me <laughs> so that you're just going to you're just going <laughs> to self mill yourself right here right now. <laughs> for yeah. half your deck. <laughs> I just Pro drew that by it, the way. And it flies. Okay, proceed. Okay. Proceed. So Let's I'm go. just going to subtract what's on the board to make it easier to count my deck. So I have one in the graveyard, three land, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I have four in my hand, so that's 12. So I mill 44 cards. Most people don't enjoy getting milled. Yeah, yeah. I know, he seems so happy. <laughs> He's gonna actually one shot somebody right now. Maybe. All right, fan out like for the fan camera. Him out. Right here. Oh, boy. Let's oh, see, yeah. is there any is there any good stuff? Lot, in lots graveyard? of good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Any graveyard like impact cards? Oh, like uh, your wonder. Oh, uh, let's see. I do have. Let's. Yeah, I should go through that. Actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, go through it and then just lay them out if you okay. have any really yeah. quick. 
Okay, so the, the significant card you put in your graveyard, Jared Golgari Lich Lord, which you can return to your hand by sacrificing another creep, by sacrificing a swamp or forest. Yeah. And, and then, the forest. And for one in a black, you can sacrifice another creature, and each opponent loses life equal to sacrifice the creature's power. So if you could right now, if you had the mana, you could play the Sacrifice Lord of Extinction, and we'd all take like 50. Yes. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Not yet, though. Not yet. No. Uh, now, this turn, all you can do is fly and kill one of us. Just, yeah, so it's a 45-45 <laughs> it's a a right now. If you complained about the watch time in the last video, like the two-hour <laughs> video, this is on you. <laughs> this is on you. Okay, because I do want to see this deck perform, but he's, he's been a little, a little careless this game. So I'm gonna swing my 45-45 flyer at Blake. It's the hat. It, it just <laughs> says it's the hat. Yes. It's the hat. Sure. Blake, any responses? No, I die. <laughs> I am asking. Oh. In exchange, I want total immunity from your thieves until they're both dead. I can save you. You will not steal. What? A, but you will not steal a thing from me oh until they're both dead. <laughs> you have yourself a deal. Oh my God. I'm sacrificing Swash this treasure. Buckler's honor. I'm what? You know what? I'll mindstone. sweeten the deal. I'll even take the hat off. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> off. Hats off to me. Hats oh off to you. God. I cast Heartless Act. Destroy target creature with, with no, no counters, counters on, it. on it. It resolves. Thank you, CGB. Okay. In my <clears throat> second main He's just became two-headed giant. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. I will, wow. in my second main, jeez, I will play a Gugari Rot Farm and return the Drowned Catacombs to my hand, and that will be my turn. So Shay, are we, we're, pretty, I mean, we're good friends I feel like now? I we got it, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. I think I'd rather be on our side of things, though. The battle lines are drawn. Okay. Yeah. Indeed they have. I, it could be the biggest mistake I have made on this channel. If, if <laughs> the biggest, considering Whoa. considering that what you did wow. last week okay. and didn't win, I'm. <laughs> yeah, I, hope, <laughs> yeah. I hope your deck has some potential. Oh, I, I am investing in your potential right now. We've got some potential. Oh my god. I am going to start by main phasing a factor fiction, targeting targeting CGB. Oh, oh my gosh! Great. I mean, I mean, I think you're hoping that I five that I like five zero this, but just because you can't steal from me doesn't mean I want you to be a million. Oh, I don't know. I'm not expecting a five zero. Okay, because I got to be reasonable here. All right, I'm gonna do the work over here. Wow! I can't believe you were gonna kill. I don't want my stuff stolen. So, Mystic Reflection is a crazy card. He can, you can like transform something, like a bunch of things into another thing. It's pretty wild. It's actually a really cool content card. Timestream Navigator says take an additional turn, which makes it a toxic, horrible piece of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Dreamcaller Siren is just kind of a good, honest pirate. And then everybody needs land and a thought vessel would give you no max hand size. That's not bad. So I'm hoping you'll take this pile. I'm just gonna leave them. All right. Oh, am I? I don't know. I think I'm gonna put this swamp with the navigator. I really want these to go away. And I think I'm gonna offer You're you- You're really incentivizing me to take the navigator with that. Just I, so you know. Then then, uh, then that's fine, because right, we're cool. best friends. We are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I think that the, there's a ton of like nonsense this can do. So, all right, I'm gonna offer you these piles. I need land drops. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, Lord of Extinction would have been a little bit bigger now. <laughs> Too soon. I can get him back. <laughs> next turn, in fact. Or, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> well, not next turn. The turn after. I'm then going to play a Time Stream Navigator. We recently saw. How's your city's blessing count? Did you? You're, are One, two, you three, on four, it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. So you, you have blessing. City's blessing. I do. Where's your city's blessing? That's toy? a great question. <laughs> and I invest. I, I say, saved you. For I this. know. I know. <laughs> I'm a little bit of afraid of you. 
I'm gonna leave my flyer back and attack <laughs> yeah. you for three. Okay, I will not block because I can't. Pass the turn. Tapping four to cast Solemn... Simulacrum. Simulacrum. A sad robot is acceptable. A sad it's robot, a, yes. A, a famous, a famous card. Yes. Um, so yeah, I get to search my library for a basic land card, put that onto the battlefield tap, and then shuffle. Also, when it dies, I get to draw a card. Um, okay, so I grabbed a forest, it enters tapped, and... I think I'm going to pass my attack phase and just uh, pass the turn. Okay. All right. Mm. I am having a weird land draw and a very weird game. Um, let's see. All right. Tap four mana. I am going to cast a Walking Ballista for X equals two. So it's XX for zero, zero. It enters the battlefield with X counters on it, in this case two. For four, I can put another counter on it. I can remove a plus one, plus one counter to deal one damage to any target pretty much whenever I want to. So there's Walking Ballista. Then here comes the pretty fun play. I'm going to play Vesuva. Now, as Vesuva comes into play, you may choose a land in play. If you do, Vesuva comes into play tapped as a copy of the chosen land. And since I'm having some mana issues, I'm going to choose the Golgari Rot Farm. So this is going to enter as a Golgari Rot Farm, which means I have to bounce a land back to my hand. I'm going to return the Hagra Brood Pit. It has the other side Hagra Mauling, which can destroy a target creature. So I might need that back in my hand. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to pass the turn. I'll untap, we'll draw, reach over my graveyard to do so. <laughs> I will play a Drowned Catacombs for my land for turn, and there's untap because I control an island. I will tap four, five, six to play my commander, Muldrotha. With her ability, I can return a permanent from my graveyard any permanent type, one each turn. You go, Queen. <laughs> queen Mildrotha is in the house. With the Fell War Stone, I will tap one and put a Shadow Spear on the battlefield. That is it's an equipment. 1-1 one, one and has Trample and Lifelink. And for one, I can permanent your opponent's control, can lose Hex, hex Proof. And indestructible until in a turn equipped two. And I will pass the turn. All right, Ben, it is payback time. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Anything about my command? <laughs> yeah. The farm is so cute. You like, you like, you like my stinky Golgari rock farm? <laughs> I can smell it from here. <laughs> What's up? What is sub? I'm going to cast a control magic targeting Moldrotha. Share. No response. <laughs> I love how your version of share is just take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like everybody gets a Moldrotha. <laughs> you know what? Share with me. I will then, from my graveyard, cast a Thought Vessel. Thanks to Moldrotha. Oh. Boy. I knew you were the right target to swing that lord at. <laughs> like. I will attack Ben for three, five, six, seven. And due to Admiral Beckett Brass's ability, I will take control of one of your permanents. That Felwar stone is looking mighty pretty. I will take seven. Let this be a lesson. <laughs> You're trying to kill me on turn five. <laughs> pass the, uh, before I pass the turn, Path of Ancestry tapped. 
Go ahead. Is it? Do you name a type with that? No, nope, it it's just, okay. commander type. And uh, Admiral Beckett, Beckett Breast. Does that say non-land permanent? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm also having a little bit of some. Uh, I got mana, but it's not enough mana for the for the cool dinosaurs. So we are going to tap three to cast Guardian Augmenter. Um, commander creatures you control get plus two plus two. Commanders you control have hexproof. That's a two two you got over there, CGP. It is a two two, yeah. And this is a one four. And a one I'm a little scared of Blake, so I think I'm <laughs> going to uh, hold back for now and pass the turn. Okay. Yeah, I've done my targeting of Ben. I, yeah, <laughs> it's I time figured. to turn our sights. <laughs> oh. I'm next. I, he had to learn a lesson, though. I know this is the worst possible. I think I just drew the best possible <laughs> card in my deck I could have drawn for this moment. I'm gonna play Urborg, to of the Moth, which turns all my lands into a swamp, which is awesome with Lake of the Dead Cabal Coffers. So now suddenly I have mana. CGB, I realize now that our deal means I can't cast Expropriate. <clears throat> <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I'm going to use these two to activate Caval Coffers to make four mana, and I'm going to tap my Golgari Rot Farm to go up to six mana. I'm going to cast Liliana Dreadhorde General in the Japanese Ayaya art. This is so pretty. And um, this says that whenever a creature I control dies, I draw a card. The plus one is to make a two two zombie token, the minus four. Each creature sacrifices each creature, each of you, each player <laughs> sacrifices creatures. two creatures. And the minus nine is gonna make you all just wanna die. So we'll talk about that if it gets there. Don't worry about it, it's fine. For now it's fine. Everything's and fine? I'm going to use the plus one on Liliana Dreadhorde General to make a two two zombie token. Then I am done. I will untap. CGB, when are we seeing the art stream after all these beautiful pictures you've drawn? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there. I, I don't know if we're going to frame this one or just well, kind of, of uh, take a picture of it and store it that way. But these will fetch a pretty price on the open market, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will tap four and play Forgotten Creation. The Skulk. This creature can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. It's a 3-3. Three, three. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you, you may discard all cards in your hand if you do draw that many cards. And for my other two mana, I will tap and equip the Shadow Sphere to it. Mm. I will also play a land for turn, and that will be reliquary. All right, on your end step. We're friends, Blake, we are. I am allergic to extra turns. Walking Ballista says we're not going to do that right Spread now. Took, uh, to be fair, it is a 2-2. Two -two. Because of Admiral Beckett Brass. Oh, I did put my ballista. No. Oh, I'm going to fire the ballista. You, we can make a deal if you'd like. We can make a deal instead? We can hold off on me making an extra turn this turn. Hold off? Yeah, I could do it another turn. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just kill it. But then you'll, you might just replay it with the Muldroth. Do you have any other creatures in your game, guys? I have Dreamcaller Siren. Oh, that's a pretty compelling one. You're just not gonna do it this turn? We got a deal? We got a deal. Okay, proceed. <laughs> ben, why does your board seem so empty? Shut up, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> you have three of my cards right now. Technically four if you include the city's blessing. Token. <laughs> <laughs> and I do call I do count it. <laughs> Am I the bad guy this game? Are you playing steal all your stuff tribal with some extra turns in there for good measure? I shall let you. No, I'm not saying that. We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I will use Moldrotha to cast Dreamcaller Siren from my graveyard, courtesy of my friend Ben. And then because I'm using Path of Ancestry, I will scry. Scrying it to the top. 
I'm going to play a Will Breaker. Let me remember, Will Breaker. Will Breaker is a 2-3 human wizard. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes the target of a spell or ability I control, gain control of that creature for as long as you control Will Breaker. It says the word control on there like four times. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one sentence. I'll move to my combat step. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> I will attack Shay for six. Okay, is it flying? It is not. Okay, I will block with anger. Good choice. It's a lot. I'm gonna block with anger. <laughs> with anger. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pass the turn. Okay. This has been a slow game for, for the dinosaurs. Not a single dino on the field. You play more humans and trolls than dinosaurs. I mean, it's a little ridiculous. Okay, so this was not exactly the plan that I had for this card. This was not what I imagined if I were to have drawn this card. However, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. So we are gonna tap two forests and then one, two, three, four. For a finale of Devastation, where X equals four. So I will search my library or graveyard for a creature card with converted mana cost of X, which is four or less, put it onto the battlefield. You search your library this way, shuffle it. Unfortunately, I don't get to use the X being 10 or more, which saddens my heart. You seem to have a little bit of anger about that. I sure do. This is yes. not the worst possible for us, the worst possible <laughs> yeah. finale for you, but do what you gotta do. Yeah, not so good. So I'm going to go ahead and search for that. All right, so I grabbed Knight of the Stampede, and my dinosaur spells cost two less to cast. <sighs> Goodbye, finale of Devastation. I am still sort of anticipating that I might get some uh, heat coming my way, so I'm gonna keep my blockers and pass the turn. All right, end step. I'm gonna sacrifice the zombie token using Skullport Merchant, which can sacrifice any creature to draw a card. It triggers the Dreadhorde General, so I draw two cards. Value Town. It's my favorite location. <laughs> Rotting Golgari Farm Rock Army Value. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love Farming those it. cards with those zombies. All right, I'm going to make four mana with Caval Coffers. I'm going to tap the Rot Farm for two mana, bringing me up to six total mana. I'm going to cast Bolus's Citadel. Oh boy. This is a legendary artifact that lets me look at the top card of my library. I may play the top card of my library. If I cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its converted mana cost rather than pay its mana cost, and I can sack 10 non-land permanents. Each opponent loses 10 life. Do you remember how many cards I cast with this when we played that game with MTG Nerd Girl on her channel? Do you remember? Do you a remember? lot. Yeah. So many. Yeah? yeah, you remember? You remember? No, do you? Yeah. It's all coming back to me <laughs> now. <laughs> oh God. Do it. You have 38 life. I don't know what it is, but do it. Cost 39 mana though. <laughs> right, yeah. We didn't come here to not do this. Oh, yeah. Don't tell me it's <laughs> torment. Can you Two, pay life with three, three four, no. five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No way! I'm casting Emrakul, oh <laughs> the promised end. <laughs> And when you cast Emrakul, gain control of target opponent during that player's next turn. After that turn, that player takes an extra turn. 13-13, Flying Trample, protection from instant. Yep. Let's go, Pirate Boy. Arg. <laughs> I'm going to take your board state for a spin. Arg. <laughs> that looks like fun to play. But I'm not done. Let's see what else is on top with Citadel, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me it's the other Eldrazi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna cast Ugin the Spirit oh Dragon. My. Jesus. 
<laughs> the plus two is three damage. The minus X is exile each permanent with converted mana cost X or less. That's one or more colors. And the minus 10 is gain seven, draw seven, put out seven. <laughs> Jesus, what a... There comes a point when even a pirate questions his own code. <laughs> Let's look at the top card again, shall we? <laughs> that one was a little less exciting. <laughs> <gonna land. laughs> Still can play it, though. Real cool. This card is fine where it is. <laughs> I'm gonna play my land for turn, Ancient Tomb. I can tap it for two mana, but it deals two damage to me, or it's also a swamp right now, so I can just tap it for a black if I need to. You seem nervous over there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this Ugin. Um, there's so many options. You probably don't want to minus it because that'd get rid of a lot of. I don't know. A lot of like creatures that you can control that, on. That I'm turn. gonna have so yeah. much fun with. I know. Yeah. I know. I still don't want him taking an extra turn, but I get to basically run the time stream navigator, and I, I get to do whatever I want to with that. It's you know, it's gonna be fine. But, man, what does Ugin shoot here? I just, I guess Zakama being hexproof is really scary. You have enough mana to play Zakama next turn now because of the knight. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tick up to nine and deal three damage to the guardian augmenter and take that out. Okay. Because it scurs me. Good night, guardian. I'm going to tick up Liliana to eight loyalty. The ultimate's a minus nine. I'm gonna make a zombie token. Then I'm done. Okay. I will go to untap. Someone make me discard a card. <laughs> At my upkeep, I will discard my hand and draw that many cards and then do my draw stuff. I discarded two islands and a mirror in the moaning well, which is a legendary life. Blake, why do you want someone to make you and discard a card? I... Is something wrong with your hand? There is something very wrong. And I will go to my draw stuff. With my hand. Because I can't play it because of a deal made with the devil. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I'll tap four, my two bounce lands, and play Sadisi Brood Tyrant. Whenever it enters a battlefield or attacks, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Whenever one or more creatures are put into your graveyard from the, your library, put a 2 2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. So I will mill three. That is one creature, land, and another creature. If I control this forest, I would have trample on my creatures, but I do not control for us right now. So I will make two black 2-2 two -two zombies. And I will play a land for turn. I will get a Terramorphic Expanse. I will sack that for hopefully a forest in case they're all in my graveyard. <laughs> okay, I do have one. We'll come in to play tab. Now my creatures have trample. I will shuffle my very small library. Yeah. <laughs> About like 25 cards, maybe. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> he found himself without a library or a commander. How did you get him to the <laughs> <laughs> um, He was a he was a proud Muldrotha mage, <laughs> and then he lost it all. Thought I could kill a player on turn five, but I guess not. Justice. I will just. Pass the turn, I feel like I need some blockers for those pirates, maybe. So Blake, you're gonna sit in my seat, don't touch my frickin' cards. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to. You didn't cast the Emrakul, and we had a deal. You can't even, you can't gain control, you can't touch any of my stuff. <laughs> Them's can the I rules. look at it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at the board, don't look at my hand. Oh, I can't look at that, obviously. <laughs> now I'm gonna look at your hand, because I can. You know the card. I'm scared. I've never, yeah, played, I've never played this card before. <laughs> that was a big gulp you just had. All right, untap. Here we go. So let me get this straight, CGB. You have my commander, but you're controlling Blake's turn <laughs> yeah. with your Emrakul. Currently. <laughs> and here's the dilemma that we have. All right. All right. 
I could take a really good turn for him and leave him in like a dominant position. True. But I've learned from playing Emrakul and Commander that when I do that, uh, then he's left with nobody to mess with but me, and he gets the next turn. So if I right. like stole all your stuff and set him up too well, he would have no one left to destroy but me, which is not good. Right. So it's actually kind of important that I screw him up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and even, even though we're friends, it still doesn't like. Even no, though we kind of had a deal, it still has to be done. Right. All right, guys. I think. Listen, Blake's hand is very good. Yes, very good cards. I Go think me. the best solution I have to this situation is something that is gonna hurt us all a little, but it's gonna leave him with a lot less. Ben, your commander will come back to you. Okay, good. I like that. And <laughs> that'll be nice. Yeah. I'll have a pretty good board, so I'll understand if you need to come after me after that, but I think we'll leave this spot like better than we found it, okay, to be yeah, honest. Cool. Um, so cool. I'm not asking you guys for anything. I know I'll have a good board if you need to target me to target me. I get okay. it. But I think that this is the way that we do this. Don't do it. For, for the good of the cause. For the good for of the... No, for, don't for do the it. Land. That's a lot of lands. Stop That's a that. lot of lands. All right, nine mana. I'm going to cast Expropriate. <laughs> this is a sorcery that, starting with you, each player votes for time or money. For each time vote, take an extra turn after this one. So no, listen, listen, listen. None, no one's voting time. All right? Don't vote time. Now, I promised I wouldn't vote time. For each money so vote, choose a permanent owned by the voter and gain control of it. I promise, when you pick money, I'm going to gain control of your, your solemn. So you'll still have the mana that you need. Um, then you can, like, I'll, I'll pick a zombie if you vote, if you vote that way. You know what I mean? So, starting with me, aka Blake, aka me, I'm going to vote for uh, money. <laughs> Yeah, you just And I'm going to gain control of my control magic. Your turn. I will vote money. Like like in Jerry Maguire. You gotta feel it, Jerry! <laughs> Show me the money! <laughs> Alright. I vote money! I'll take your solemn yeah. simulacrum. <laughs> me, as not you, doesn't it feel weird to not get to do anything? <laughs> I choose Ugin, the spirit oh, dragon. Ooh. Good call. Uh-huh. Uh huh. All right, then. Show me the money. Yeah, money. All right. <laughs> I choose money. this zombie token. All right. So those are gain control of. This goes to the graveyard. Real quick, for rules purposes, technically everyone votes before we choose permanents, just for next time. Okay. Not a big deal. That's fine. All right, I'm going to tap. Talisman of Dominance, activate Arcane Signet and tap Felwar Stone for blue. I'm gonna cast Entrancing Melody. Um, I'm going to gain control of this zombie token, I guess. <laughs> I do have to wipe the board, so I am sorry. I, I said you were gonna keep your mana creatures, but it occurred to me now that they've gotta go. And I am going to remove Let's see. I'm going to remove two counters from my walking ballista over here to deal two damage to, it doesn't really matter. I guess it's going to be Blake's face because he has the most life. That means I draw a card. So, oh, and I also get to look at my top card because that bullet is Citadel and that's fine. And let's see, <laughs> this, is, this is pretty wild. I'm going to minus Ugin for nine. Exile all permanents that have one or more colors. All right, then you get the choice of whether or not to send Muldrotha to Command Zone, but I'm going to choose to exile Admiral Beckett Brass. Oh. I'm going to leave it in exile. <laughs> it's I not will... in the Command Zone. Oh. I will choose to put Muldrotha in the Command Zone. It's nice to have that choice, isn't it? <laughs> it is nice when I get that choice. Um, I'm not going to do you totally dirty. I'm going to attack my Emrakul with the Solemn Simulacrum so it dies. Goes to your graveyard, you get to draw a card. 
<laughs> Thanks, CGB. <laughs> then I'm going to play land for turn, Prismatic Vista. I'm going to sacrifice it and pay one life and fail to find. <laughs> uh, it's too bad there's no basics in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> It's your turn, Blake. <laughs> so glad we teamed up. <laughs> well, it's almost like a reset, oh. but I start with a 13-13. Oh, where did I, where did I go? <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna like what you come back to. <laughs> a devastated board state, to say the least. All right. I will now take my extra turn from, I don't even wanna say. <laughs> We do not speak its name. Emrakul. Ah. <laughs> that was a fun draw. What was it, land? This was a fun draw. <laughs> Tap seven. I will cast Curse of Unbinding, targeting CGB. Now this is a curse that enchants a player, costs seven mana. At the beginning of Enchanted Player's Upkeep, that player reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card. Put that battle that creature onto the battlefield under my control. That player puts the rest of the revealed cards into the graveyard. Uh, Should have targeted you to mill you out. <laughs> <laughs> <That> would. <laughs> yeah, but for some reason you're salty about me. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure why. Could We're gonna tell you need why. that disc to <laughs> enter yeah, the battlefield okay. soon. I like, will then maybe. use my Path of Ancestry for a blue to cast Spectral Sailor, trigger Path of the Ancestry, leaving that on top with my Scry. Does, I will, that, does that Scry still work when you have no commander? I would assume so. Okay. I, I it doesn't happen yeah. often. Silly question, but you know. No, it's a, great, it's a good question. I will then pass the turn. Okay. Can't wait to see what I get. Yeah, you have no hand. Bummer, dude. Two, maybe. He untapped <laughs> with no hand, no commander. <laughs> no creature. Oh, I did have Spectral Sailor in hand. That Spectral Sailor has work to do. Yeah. And draw me a hundred cards. Overgrown farmland. Um, enters tapped unless you control two or more other lands, which, thankfully, I do. I'm gonna... Tapping three for Eternal Witness. When it enters the battlefield, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. So I am going to pick my Guardian. Okay, tapping three for to cast Guardian Augmenter. And with that, I'll pass the turn. All right, how's this work? Upkeep, at the beginning of my upkeep, I reveal cards from the top of li my library until I hit a creature, and that creature goes onto the battlefield under your control, Blake. And, um, what were you doing? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> and then the rest of my cards get milled, so yes. this is, this is potentially bad. I don't have a lot of creatures, so here we go. Soul Ring Shrine. <laughs> um, I don't feel bad about that mind starting. slaver going away. Okay. <laughs> massacre Worm? <laughs> I get it. So, <laughs> you hit Massacre Worm. Whenever it enters the battlefield, creatures your opponent's control get minus two, minus two. Gun song. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, that player loses two life. So that enters the battlefield under your control. And triggers, and uh, it looks like Shay's <laughs> two beautiful creatures Shay. die. This was not, you got caught in the crossfire, oh, my friend. God. And you lose four life. You're wonderful. Blake, we had a, we kind of did have a deal that you weren't gonna t control anything of mine until, you know, uh, until they were dead. Do you so. think the utter devastation you wrought <laughs> upon my side of the board broke that deal because we were a team? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I agree with that. Thank I you. I think that's understandable. So you're saying that controlling your turn, leaving you in absolute decimated ruin and permanently exiling your commander makes it okay? <laughs> that's what you're saying? I would agree. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think that's You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Even though I wanted him dead, I feel like he deserves better. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank well, you, Ben. They, so they agree with you. I mean, the the way I see it, and I wish you had. I, I forgot to tell you this. I saved you from the Lord of the Underworld just to. <laughs> Just because to... I thought I could do even worse things to you than kill you <laughs> on turn five. Yeah, well, <laughs> now you're uh, reaping what you sow. All right, I'm going to draw my card. <laughs> but don't attack me. Peace in our time. <laughs> well, you kind of made that bed because if you die, the curse goes away, right? Yes. <laughs> That's a reluctant yes. <laughs> Sad but true is what that is. Indeed. All right. I'm going to play Hagger Mauling Tapped once again <laughs> to get the land onto the battlefield. Time is a flat circle. I'm going to tap Ancient Tomb for two, dropping me to 15, and activate Cabal Coffers. That makes one, two, three, four, five, six mana. I'm going to use one of the mana to cast Shambling Ghast, the one one that when it dies, I can make a treasure or give something minus one minus one. I'm gonna use the other five to cast Sidisi, my commander, for the first time this game when it enters the battlefield as a four six death touch, I can exploit another creature and then search my library for a card. So, no. DC. Oh, you don't have a counter spell. <laughs> no. When Sidisi right. enters the battlefield, I'm going to exploit my Shambling Ghast. It's going to die. I'm going to make a treasure token Nope, I'm going to give minus one, minus one oh. to the Spectral Sailor. <laughs> Just Doodle. kidding. Drucker. Good choice. <laughs> I'm going to lose two life to the Massacre Worm, and I'm going to search my library for a card. He did it with the wall. To, J to Davy Jones's locker with Pep. Rip. I'm on theme. What do you want from me? <laughs> Rip your pirate deck. That's what. That's what's going on here. <laughs> I don't even see my commander. Where'd it go? Did you actually exile? Oh, to the shadow <laughs> realm with that thing. It's in my. Jeez. It's actually just over here in my pocket. DGB's like, it's mine now. Prisoner. To the winner. The go. spoils. You know it. All right. I'm going to tap for one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cast Alhamrat's Archive. If I would gain life, I gain twice that much life instead. And if I would draw a card except for the first one in each draw step, I draw two cards instead. Then Emrakul, the Promised End, is going to... Promise someone's end. <laughs> and, the, and, and that would be uh, Blake's, as I need to get this curse off me before I mill out. So I'm attacking you with a 13-13 Flying Trample Protection from Instance. <laughs> no blocks. Boom. Thanks, math guy. It's occurring to me an act of treason could take my Emrakul and perfectly. Oh, leave I would <laughs> never. <laughs> Your turn, put then. Those type uh, of cards in my deck. I will untap. Oh, I'm a gentleman. And I will draw. I will tap four. I really like these bounce lands. I have to tap less cards. I will play Never Rules Disc. Then there's a battlefield tap. And I will play a breeding pool. Tap. Whoa. Tap. I will not pay the two life for it to enter, or when it enters. I think we've come to the point where I will pee the tea. Nice. <laughs> there it is. We should, we should get pee the tea shirts. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap Soul Ring to just play another Fell War Stone. <laughs> This one's mine, though. Oh, yeah, because you have Ben's Felwar stone. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you stole that like a million years ago. Indeed. And then I'm going to tap... Back when you had a commander. <laughs> Bummer. Three, four. Rough. I will cast Fasa Deep Dwelling. This is a 6-5 legendary enchantment creature god with indestructible. As long as my devotion to blue is less than five, it's not a creature. My devotion to blue is one, so it is just an enchantment that's indestructible. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one other target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under your control. So even though I do not uh, own this, it is controlled by me, it still will enter the battlefield under my control. I can also pay four to tap target creature. Hmm, I wonder what you would use that on. Just, you know, annoyances of that, mine. That's sort of a soft lock, because you can, like every turn, you can kill everything that's two toughness or smaller, yeah. but everything that's large, you can tap it. I didn't oh think about God. that. Huh. 
<laughs> I'll move to my end step and I will trigger Massacre Worm. It's gonna exile. It's gonna return and do nothing. I believe. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. Show us some dinos, Shay. I'm really hoping for something here. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> it's not the worst thing right now. Do you have a commander that you can play this game? Because... Maybe eventually you'll have uh, di dinosaurs in your dinosaur park. I mean, <laughs> yes. This movie sucks. That was <laughs> really, Jurassic Park. I really hate that man. Tapping two for Incubation Druid. So I can tap it to add a mana of any type that a land you control could produce. If Incubation Druid has a 1-1 one, one counter on it, add three mana of that type instead. So I can pay five to adapt three. Okay, with that, I will pass the turn. All right, let's untap this nonsense. Oh, yay! Are you excited? Unbind! Yeah, okay, I will. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> uh, all right, Dark Witch. This is fun. This is fun. I'm having a great time. A lot more fun than I was having a couple turns ago. I need that Felwar stone. You hit a Woe Strider. Whoa! Ooh, Give me so my go. Creepy. So, Woe Strider, 3 2, and when it enters the battlefield, create a goat token, and you can sacrifice a creature you control to scry one. It has escape, so it can come out of the graveyard if it ever were to, you know, have something unfortunate happen to it. Be a shame. And then uh, I'm going to move to draw step. I'm going to try to move to combat. Oh, you're going to move to combat, but... Tap down Emrakul. Tapped, okay. So, I guess Emrakul's tapped, so I won't attack. All right, Cabal Coffers is going to make... Let's see, six mana, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to cast Read the Bones using three of it. So I have three black mana floating. Let me know what those bones say. The bones <laughs> say, you're a troll, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to scry two. Bones have such a deep voice. <laughs> I'm going to put one on the bottom, one on the top. And then I'm going to draw four from Alhamrat's Archive. It's a little upgrade on the old classic that is Read the Bones. Actually. Yeah, geez. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. I'll play a swamp as land for turn. I'm a little worried about that disc. Yeah, that's a that's, that's a lot of mana uh, I'm about to lose. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have played some more stuff. Worry about. Well, I'm not anymore. <laughs> now that you said that. <laughs> I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to my mana pool. I'm tapping this for a black, not for the two. I'm getting low on life, and I'm gonna cast a hangerback walker for four. So when this dies, I would get four Thopters. I can also, once it's not summoning six, tap one and tap it to put more counters on Hanger Backwalker. <clears throat> oh yeah, actually it's five because I had the mana in the mana pool and I, I didn't have to tap the Lake of the Dead. That's, I had a brain fart there where I was like, I thought I had five. All right, so 10 mana. We make, with the three in the mana pool, Hanger Backwalker, Lake of the Dead untapped. I'm done. I will untap stuff. I'll go to draw. I'll draw. I will tap one to make all permanents your opponent's control lose hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Then I will tap one to <sighs> pop the disc. Awesome, no. Destroying all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. You're gonna be so good with Bo Strider. I will respond to that by sacrificing my goat to scry one. Enjoy. My goat. Ah. <laughs> Where's the goat? <laughs> and yes. then... Then you ever had lamb chops before? <laughs> We're gonna leave this so that I can get some triggers when creatures die. All right, any responses to the disc? If you adapted it, it wouldn't save it or anything. No. Okay. Um, I am... I'm also no responses. 
Cool. So the curse dies, but every creature that dies, they, the controller loses two life because of Massacre Worm. So Except for mine. Except for Blake's. So you will Brody. lose two life and lose your Incubation Druid. I'm losing three creatures, so I lose six. I'm down to seven. Yeah, yeah, you seem really sad. You go CGB. <laughs> However, Woe Strider goes to my graveyard. So DC goes to my command zone. And five Thopters enter the battlefield under my control. The Curse of Unbinding is undone. Goodbye. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. That, that, that's actually really helpful, to be honest. That, that makes me feel a lot better. And now, uh, Blake seems I can kill him later. Wait, what are you doing? Oh. Artifacts, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I needed that. Okay. Um, yeah, that's dead, too. <laughs> okay. Wait, uh, How? Shape laying around by having no artifacts. We're like back to what? nothing. I know. <laughs> I will play an island for turn. I will tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and play Moldrotha from my command zone. And I will hit the key. I scryed a good one to the top. The anticipation. There's counting cards in this graveyard. That's I'm going what to I do. exile seven cards and tap a blue to cast Treasure Cruise. Mm -hmm. As pirates do. If that resolves, I will draw three cards. From my end. Yeah. Oh. Shall we round two? Oh, no. Electric Boogaloo? Doing a lot for having no commander. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap Path of Ancestry for a blue and the rest, and I'm going to mind control Moldrotha. Gib. Oh, oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, <laughs> what do you want from me, bro? I'm not taking a 1 1 Thopta. Do you have a land in your graveyard? I do. Did you play a land for turn? I have not. In response, I'm going to defile Moldrotha and minus six, seven, minus seven until end of turn. I will put her in the command zone yet again. It's messed up. Wow. Thank you for saving right, I will me. then <laughs> cast our play Temple of Epiphany, scrying one. That face, right? <laughs> like, yeah, what's he, what's he doing? I don't like it. The beard stroke? That's a, what am I stealing on this board face? <laughs> yeah, right. I'll leave it on top. And I will pee the tea. Okay. Hoping Lucky duck. for something. Okay. Um, I will pass the turn. Jeez, <laughs> the dinos are just not showing up for work. Mm. Clever girl. <laughs> Shay, did anger end up in your graveyard or is it exile? It is in my graveyard. It's a ticking time bomb over there. Haste yeah, makes no waste, kidding. Shay. Haste it's makes a long, waste. Long timer. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, I learned my lesson last time. Attacking Shay with five thopters. Yeah, fair enough. We've got to we got to get rid of her before I'm destroyed. All right, Cabal Coffers is going to make going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I'm going to use two of it to cast a Novice Occultist. Now, when this dies, I draw a card and lose one life. Then I'm going to use five, six, and seven to cast my Commander Sidisi and exploit the novel the Novice Occultist. So it's going to die. I'm going to go down to six. I'm going to draw a card. Then I'm going to search my library for a card. CGB is not the best teammate. He seems to like the best <laughs> of his teammates. All right, I'm going to play my land for turn as Dark Depths. This is a legendary snow land. Whenever it comes in with 10 ice counters, when it has no ice counters on it, I sacrifice it. If I do, I create a 2020 indestructible flying avatar creature token named the Merit Lage. And so I have to remove 10 ice counters from it, and it's three it's mana nice. to remove an ice counter. So that might take a while. Unless <laughs> I'm gonna tap this for black. If you do it the old-fashioned way, that's sweet. 
Oh, but what if I play Vampire <laughs> Hex? Oh, <man. laughs> oh, no, no, this is a 2 1 first strike. I can sacrifice it and remove all counters from target permanent. That is the most OG combo Urborg, Dark Depths, Vampire Hex Mage. Yeah, I have it in one mind. <laughs> and I'm done. Dude, it is the speed. It I is will sick. Untap all my well, lands, I guess. Hey, yeah, permanence, too. Yeah, yeah. It's all. <laughs> I'll draw for turn. I'm going to play Gate Glacial Chasm as my land for turn. Cumulative upkeep of two life. When I play it, I will sack a land when it comes into play. I'll sacrifice an island. And the creatures you control can't attack and prevent all damage that would be dealt to you. Woo! And I will tap uh, three. And I will play Saltai Ascendancy. It's an enchantment. Beginning of your upkeep, look at the top two cards of your library, put any number of them into the graveyard, and the rest in the back, on the top in any order, pretty much surveil to. Pass the turn. I can't believe how much Blake is still playing this game <laughs> off the top. Commander <laughs> completely exiled. <laughs> and he's still done a lot of stuff. <laughs> P the T. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm luring you into a false sense of security. You can't, you can't control the dark I depths. I feel pretty safe with this. <laughs> Unless you mill me, I guess. Exotic Orchard. Nice. Getting closer. She's been sitting at seven mana. So, so many like, times. Like, times. Like in different ways, yes. too. <laughs> and it's dork, crazy mana, that artifacts. that's still not enough to like do anything right, right now. Jeez. Who built that deck? Jeez, they stink. <laughs> Shots fired. Okay. Yeah, I mean... I'll pass the turn. And your end step, I'll sacrifice Vampire Hex Mage, and I'm going to remove all counters from Dark Depths. So when it has no ice counters on it, I sacrifice it. Here comes Merit Lage, a 20, oh. 20 <laughs> flying, indestructible. CGB, you are looking real handsome today. <laughs> it Wait. is crazy how handsome you're looking. It's admirable, Blake, that you still want to live it's after admirable. everything that's happened to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's admirable. <laughs> but <sighs> I'm going to play <gasps> Wasteland. No, no. <laughs> it looks no. like Ben's back on the menu. Oh, <laughs> it's no. <laughs> Wasteland your glacial chasm. Uh -huh. Destroy target non-basic land. <laughs> no. You know, I might I might even not have gone after you. If I hadn't played that. Or <laughs> hadn't said that. If you, <laughs> if you hadn't tried to avoid me. <laughs> but now that I we have play a land at instant speed. And you might be able to like Muldrotha and get it back, I know. which is kind of disgusting. I know. So we attack uh or attack in Ben. This is That's 30, right? Or 29. 29. 29. 29. Okay. 29. I'm at one. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm going to generate mana with coffers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't look around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast the Meat Hook Massacre. For six, and whenever a creature I control dies, each opponent loses one life. No. <laughs> yes. I thought it was the opposite. And whenever a creature the, uh, an opponent controls dies, I'm going to gain. No. So I'm killing these Thopters and this Sadisi, so you all lose six life. Ben. Good night. Moment of silence. <laughs> I have no response. Just all tears. Right. So DC oh, goes. Sorry, I will avenge you, Ben. To the command zone. One day to avenge. No offense, Blake. You know what? I did. You were my first target. That's fair. <laughs> it would be cool if you 
cool. If I Shay's got playing Lance Tribal. It's <laughs> wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Merit Lage is still here. But not very well. Yeah, Merit Lage is still on. Um, I have some. Okay, I spent the man in the mana pool. I'm done. Is that, that that's two weeks in a row. You're just the first. Yeah, one first out, out yeah. two yeah. weeks in a row. <laughs> Poor Muldrotha, that no. yoinked around. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> you almost had that turn four kill, remember when that happened? Turn five, yeah, but yeah, I do remember that very well. I'm gonna play a treasure map. Nice. Arr, 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 Arr. indeed. <laughs> but for the more fun play of the turn, I will cast Sakashima's Will with only one possible choice but I'm going to target you. You give me control of a creature you control. Um, oh, do you only have Merit Lage? Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, why did I play the Meat Hook Massacre and kill All my own Thopters? I'm starting. Because <laughs> you wanted to kill me. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'll be taking that thing. You. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. It's not like, oh, my shadow spear. P the T. Hmm. I heard your shadow spear go, bro. Well, it's not, I'm not existing now. Oh, yeah. Shh. A little bit of my rage. Shh. 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 Do we have a dino <laughs> this turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tapping. <laughs> she does no, no. Amazing. <laughs> I'm so hyped right now. Tapping eight mana to play. It's oh. a Tulpa Primed <laughs> on Please. with haste yeah. from my anger, and it has flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, and indestructible. Oh my gosh, I see what's it's, happening. It's it's a dinosaur. Yeah, it is a dinosaur. <laughs> it's a dinosaur. Finally, we made it. Oh, the gates are open. This is a great position you're in now, open. Shay. I mean, you would. I would block. You would likely. Block. Yeah. All right. And you have anger in the graveyard. I have anger, and I can double check. And you have a mountain on the battlefield. Oh. Not a red land, but a oh. mountain. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh no. yes, you no. Oh my Oh no. Ah. <laughs> okay, no, no haste. You're telling me oh, there's a chance. There is a chance. Yeah, oh you, my gosh. Um, yeah, I didn't notice that. Oh man. Yeah, I didn't even think. Do 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 do. A dinosaur has made it onto the field. Yes. At least true. there is that, if nothing else. A glimmer of hope. Not as cool, but <laughs> CGB, you live to fight another round. Do I? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe until Blake's turn. <laughs> Who knows then? I'm just a pirate, dude. I'm you scared. sure? Here Looks like you're a treasure, avatar. Here right for booty. <laughs> I haven't done the math, so who knows how this is going to turn out. Yeah, okay. I'm going to generate one, two, three, four, five, six, Please seven mana. Not. Seven black. He casts it. Ancient Tomb, I'm gonna go to four. <gasps> That's up to nine. Urborg, oh, no. we're gonna make that 10. <laughs> Sorry to do this super slow. I actually have to be careful with how I tap, especially with the Urborg. So this is 11, 12. Lake of the Dead, Sack of Swamp, 16. Oh my gosh. Mana Crypt, tap for two, 18. Blake, you can put that hat on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shay, after careful consideration, I've decided not to endorse your park. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Torment of Hailfire oh. for 16. Repeat the following process 16 times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. Wow. Let's see if you can live. I'm gonna start Might by be. activating treasure map. <laughs> wow. Scrying. Scrying to the bottom. <laughs> I am rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic right now. <laughs> so three, wow. 16 times. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm super dead. <laughs> 
You're doing. You're math you're guy. At, you're at twenty three, so you can do it seven times and then be at two. And then there's do, 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 one, there's two. only got three. And then there's only three. Yeah, so, so there's four yeah. more hits that you take, right? Yeah. Six more. Six more. Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. And I die. Shay. I think even if I sack, I die, right? Yeah. Think how many cards? Yeah. How many, how many cards, cards in your hand? Three. three. So, so this. Four. That's four times. Twelve more. Yeah, you're dead. Oh. I like fifteen. Right. <laughs> wow. There it is. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Life. Who would have thought a mountain? Yeah, that would have been a mountain. Oh yeah, my god. If you had a mountain, you could have attacked CGB, killed him. Blake would have lost the merit lane. Oh. Because it's I mine. Think, I, well, maybe, no, it's a token, so it wouldn't. Either matter. way, this is indestructible and vigilant. Right, it could yeah. block the merit lane. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so then it would have been you two, and yeah, you would have dino'd so him. Right. Oh my lord. Yeah. I more life left? Yeah, did you incredible. draw that or did you already have that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what wow. a sick game, though. What that a way to so end good. it. Oh, he starts God. doing it. I'm like, it can't be. It There's can't no be. way. Wow. It can't be. Shay, I'm sad. That mountain wow. ended the game. Yeah, oh, for no. real. One mountain. Man. I can't believe that. <laughs> Uh, geez, I, I, I guess I'll be picking my favorite comment this week to receive a gift code to CoolStuffInc.com, so leave those comments below. And, uh, I mean, I'm supposed to do the outro and like, thank you for playing. Uh, thank you for being tormented by Hailfire. Blake, in particular, can we just get a moment of like, you took an Emra cooling, your commander got exiled and was permanently exiled, one of the most ice cold things and cold blooded things that could happen to a player. Especially and, by uh, a teammate, go on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially by somebody you had to deal with. Yep. And uh, you know what, you still got a smile on your face and I'm gonna I'm gonna say it, that, that, that hat, um, it's a nice hat you got there. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, as we do at the end, Let's go around the table. Ben, I know I know you've been over there suffering, but what was your card of the game? Card of the game. Unfortunately, I didn't know the card that well, and it ended up killing me. I thought I was safe because I had no creatures, but I would have to say it was the Meat Hook Massacre. Because uh... it, 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 it dealt that with five more, or six, I guess, more points of damage five additional that it needed to kill me. I honestly thought of it later <laughs> yeah. that I messed up on that play really, really bad because yeah. what I could have done to deal the final point instead is I had a woe strider in my graveyard <clears throat> and I could have escaped it out, but I totally oh, forgot about it. It died in the disc, it yeah, went to the right. graveyard and I forgot it was there. So I didn't yeah. have to nuke my own board oh, and give yeah. Blake the merit leash, but right. content is content. Yeah. Content is content. <laughs> All right, New York Massacre, uh, so Blake, how you doing? <laughs> well, are you okay? You know what? In time. What's your card of the game? My card of the game is definitely Curse of Unbinding. Art's amazing, and I was having a blast. Just milling your deck and seeing what I find. I would say Admiral Becca Brass, but she doesn't exist anymore, so. <laughs> Sad. Shay, Shay, um, I know it was a kind of a tough game on the mana front over there with everything getting blown up, but if you had to pick a card of the game, what's your card of the game? I mean, I guess for me personally, I will give credit to Zatulpa for being the only dinosaur that <laughs> made it onto the field in go. my dinosaur deck. So, um, yeah, there's that. Actually, the last dinosaur. The last, yes. <laughs> actually, the very last the first dinosaur. Animal. The first, the yes. Is that actually the only dinosaur you played this game? Yeah, what? That's all. That's all. Feels bad, man. Yeah, that was no good. I'm going to give card of the game to Bolus's Citadel because yeah, yeah, I played Ugin the Spirit Dragon and I played Emrakul the Promise End Maybe on the same uh, turn. Yeah. Those were the top two cards in my deck after I played Bolus's Citadel. I don't think I'll ever lose 21 life so quickly, but for <laughs> such a good cause again in my magic life, probably. That'll probably and never happen again. Those two cards combined just wrecked Blake. I, I mean, <laughs> really? Burn his house. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks very much for being here. Thanks for playing the games. YouTube, we'll see you on the next one. You're cool. And we are back for the post game wrap. And your boy.
took it home. I won a Commander game on my own channel. Feels so good, even if it was with that ever present and slightly toxic Torment of Hailfire. I'm going to put the Torment of Hailfire back in the binder for a while. You do it once, you bust it out every now and then, but then you got to put it away and it's got to be fresh again when it comes back. You do it too many times, you kind of lose your Torment of Hailfire card. But man, that game was an absolute trip from Ben trying to cast the biggest Lord of Extinction I can remember and knock Blake out on, I think it was turn five, traumatizing half his library. Pretty unbelievable. Then saving Blake only to torture him to the absolute max later with Emrakul, the promise end, leaving his commander in exile. One of the dirtiest, nastiest things I think I've ever done to somebody here on the channel. And I'll let that go down in history as just how evil I can be. Shay believing she had once again pulled the trump card to knock me out of the game only to find that the basic mountain or the mountain card type was nowhere to be found among her lands. The game, it hinged on a razor's edge. And that's not even to mention drawing the wasteland to blow up the glacial chasm to attack with the 2020 merit lage to finally take care of Ben. So many ups and downs and I really enjoyed it and I have emerged the champion. So this week I will be picking the comment that I like the most to receive a gift code for CoolStuffInc.com. Thanks for sponsoring the show. Remember, pick up your new cards at CoolStuffInc.com, promo code CGB5. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next week with even more Commander content. If you hit join uh, below, it supports making more of this content. We're going to be keeping track of how many memberships come while making these videos. So if you want to support the channel and the creation of more Paper Commander content, content, then please hit the button below and we'll be back for more. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next one. You're cool.